Butterflies and Moths by Bobby Common and Tammy Everts. What are butterflies and moths? Butterflies and moths are insects. Insects have three body parts, a head, thorax, and abdomen. Insects have six legs. Many insects have wings. Butterflies and moths have large wings that are covered in tiny scales. The scales look like dust when they rub off on your fingers. Butterflies and moths are important. They help plants grow by spreading pollen. They are food for many animals. Look at the diagram. You can see the parts labeled wings, scales, feelers, head, proboscis, thorax, abdomen. Moth or butterfly? Butterflies and moths are alike. Sometimes it's difficult to tell them apart. Look at these two pictures. Which is the butterfly? Which is the moth? Moth thick furry body, folds wings beside body when resting, usually smaller than a butterfly, usually dull colored, usually flies at night. Butterfly, slender, hairless body, brings wings up over body, usually larger than a moth, usually brightly colored, usually flies during the day. One easy way to tell if an insect is a butterfly or a moth is by looking at its feelers. A moth's feelers can be many shapes and sizes, but a butterfly's feelers are always long and slender with a knob on the tip. From egg to adult. Butterflies and moths start out as eggs they grow into adults in a series of changes called metamorphosis. There are four changes in metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. These pictures show the Cracropia moth as it grows and changes. The female butterfly or moth lays her eggs on a plant that will make good food for her young. After a short time, each egg hatches into a caterpillar or larva. The new caterpillar is very tiny, but it grows fast. The caterpillar soon gets too big for its skin. It sheds its tight skin and grows a new one. It does this several times. The flying Cracropia moth is an awesome sight. The caterpillar spins a cocoon around itself and is now called a pupa. Inside the chrysalis, the pupa changes into an adult. Eventually, the adult breaks a hole in the cocoon and comes out. It rests its wings before it flies away. Crawling Caterpillars It is hard to believe that a graceful butterfly or moth was once a crawling caterpillar. The word caterpillar means hairy cat. Some caterpillars are covered with harmless fuzz. Others, such as this yellow spotted tiger moth caterpillar, have long stiff hairs or spines that can sting if you touch them. A caterpillar looks as if it has dozens of legs. Like all insects, caterpillars have only six true legs. These are found at the front of the body. The rest of the caterpillar's legs are stumps called prolegs. Prolegs help the caterpillar cling to leaves and branches. A swallowtail butterfly caterpillar has a red, orange, or yellow osmeterium on the top of its head. The osmeterium looks like a pair of horns. When the caterpillar is frightened, it pokes the horns at its enemy. The horns keep enemies away because they smell really bad. What do butterflies and moths eat? Adult moths and butterflies can only eat liquid food. Most sip nectar. 
Nectar is a sweet juice that is found inside flowers. Butterflies and moths have a long tongue called a proboscis for drinking nectar. It works like a drinking straw. The proboscis is usually curled up, but it straightens when the insect eats. Uncurled proboscis, curled proboscis. Moth and butterfly caterpillars are non-stop eating machines. Most eat the leaves and stems of plants. Some eat only one type of plant. Others eat fruit, wool, wood, or wax. A few even eat other insects. Using their senses, butterflies and moths see, smell, taste, and hear differently than people do. Butterflies and moths do not have noses. They use their feelers to smell. Butterflies and moths eat with their proboscis, but they taste food with their feet. Most butterflies and moths do not have ears, but some moths have very sensitive ears. Butterflies and moths have compound eyes. Compound eyes have many flat sides called facets. Each facet sees a separate picture. Compound eyes are very good at seeing movement. They can see some colors such as yellow, green, and blue, but they cannot see all the colors that our eyes see. Compound eye facet. Beware of predators. Butterflies and moths have many predators. A predator is something that hunts another living thing. Snakes, toads, bats, spiders, and birds all eat butterflies and moths. One type of wasp attaches its eggs to the caterpillar's body. When the eggs hatch, the baby wasps eat the caterpillar's insides while it's still alive. Then they build cocoons on the caterpillar's body Colors that protect. Butterflies and moths have special ways to protect themselves from animals that would like to eat them. Some have bright colors to frighten predators. The bright colors of others are a sign that they are poisonous. Their colors say, you will not like the way I taste, or I am much bigger than you think I am. Some butterflies and moths and caterpillars have large eye spots on their wings or bodies. A spice bush, swallowtail, caterpillar's eye spots make it resemble a snake. The polyphemus moth's eye spots fool birds. Birds see the big false eyes and think they belong to a much larger animal. Some harmless butterflies and moths are the same bright colors as poisonous butterflies and moths. These imitators or mimics have a poisonous look to fool their predators. Can you tell the difference between these two butterflies? Animals cannot tell the difference either. The top one is a poisonous monarch and the bottom one is a harmless viceroy. Hiding from enemies. Some insects use patterns and colors to hide from enemies. Patterns and colors help them blend into their environment. This blending is called camouflage. Spot the hidden leaf mimic moth on the opposite page. The moth's wings look exactly like withered brown leaves. The caterpillar of the giant swallowtail butterfly is an unusual mimic. It looks just like a fresh bird dropping. Would birds want to eat this caterpillar? Sleep or fly away. Few butterflies and moths can live in freezing weather. Many die when the weather gets cold. Some butterflies and moths sleep through the winter as a pupa. This long rest is called hibernation. 
Other butterflies and moths fly hundreds or even thousands of miles to warmer places. This long flight is called migration. The monarch butterfly has strong wings. At the end of every summer, it makes a long journey to the country of Mexico. Millions of monarch butterflies fly to the same part of Mexico every year. Hundreds of trees are completely covered with resting butterflies. Scientists do not know why monarch butterflies return to this place each year. Unusual butterflies. There are over 20,000 kinds of butterflies in the world, some more unusual than others. The giant swallowtail is among the largest in North America. It is as big as an adult's hand. The pygmy blue is one of the smallest butterflies in the world. A fully grown pygmy blue is only as big as the tip of your finger. The blue morpho is a dazzling butterfly. It's one of the largest butterflies in South America. The blue morpho drinks the juice of various fruits. Fritillaries have tiny bristles on their front legs. These bristles are like brushes. They are used for cleaning the butterfly's feelers. Magnificent moths. There are over 200,000 different kinds of moths. The satin moth's fuzzy white body makes it look as though it's wearing a fur coat. The Cricropria is one of the largest moths in North America. It can grow to be even bigger than the giant swallowtail butterfly. The Luna moth is a beautiful moth. It has long, graceful, light green wings. Many people mistake it for a butterfly. The hawk moth is a very fast flyer. It can fly 10 times as fast as you can walk, even if you walk quickly. The name game. People have given butterflies and moths some interesting names. They may have looked at the pattern on the wings of one butterfly and said, that looks just like a zebra. The butterflies and moths shown here are called zebra butterfly, sunset moth, tiger swallowtail butterfly, hummingbird moth, and piano key butterfly. Look at them carefully and decide which is which. The answers are in the box below. Number one is the tiger swallowtail butterfly. Number two, piano key butterfly. Number three, zebra butterfly. Number four, sunset moth. And number five, hummingbird moth. Butterfly fun. It is fun to observe butterflies and moths in your own backyard. Keep a notebook and draw the ones you see. Look at each one's size, behavior, and the food it eats. Make notes of your findings. List reasons why you think moths and butterflies are an important part of nature. Match the butterflies and moths you have seen with those in this book. You can even visit your library and find pictures and books called field guides. Field guides help identify birds, insects, and animals and tell you about their behavior. Words to know. Camouflage. Patterns or colors that blend into the environment. Cocoon. A covering that protects the pupa of an insect. Hibernate. To sleep through winter. Larva. A caterpillar. Metamorphosis, the growing and changing from egg to adult. Migrate, to move a long distance from one place to another. Mimic, to resemble closely. Nectar, a sweet liquid made by flowers and used by bees in making honey. Osmotarium, a caterpillar's horns. Pollen, a fine powdery material that comes from flowers. Predator, an animal that eats other animals. Proboscis, a long mouth tube used for sucking.
prolegs, the leg-like stumps that help a caterpillar cling to twigs and leaves.